Hello, hello everyone, my name is Tisra, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War. So, we actually have a few battles, or potential battles, I should say, coming up. Of course, the one you have seen with the British, a sort of Hanover, which I don't know when will happen. But, there are also a few Russian armies out there. Probably some here, but I can see two of them. One over here against a fairly undefended, um, yeah, and also poorly defended, Belgorod. Also, over here, against a slightly more, um, more defended, more properly defended city, but still, a lot of militia, and, well, they have some garrisons as well, so... At least slightly better. So what I'm doing is recruiting from Kiev and sending them to where they are needed. And um, I don't actually know. Because if I send them here... Well, sending them here gives a larger chance of me succeeding with actually defending a city. But this is the city that really needs to be defended. So, I don't know. I'll probably have to take this army eventually and move down and uh, wrestle control back. Which will be a pain, but uh, it has to be done. Oh well. So, I, I think I'll take this army and actually move it over here. Also, I will be recruiting more men. And eventually, when I have enough force, I, I plan to take take this and uh, march it over and if I have to reconquer this, so I don't have to drag this army down, but still I might have to do that. I, I don't know how long this will take. It will take a little while. Let's see. Other than that, we are looking good. We are facing only a few and fairly scattered Russian armies, which is good. So, I think we can end the turn and see what happens. Are Great Britain going to attack me? Attack Hanover? Yes, they are. Yeah, we're not winning this. Not at all. Yeah, it's not worth it even trying. Trust me. They have artillery. I don't. It's uh, as simple as that. So, British Hanover. Hmm. Oddly historically accurate, actually. Kinda. Not at this point in time, but, but still. Read and lost. Yes, I know. But, fear not. Technology advances. So, we now have mass production. And we're still waiting on this to be finished building. And also, this uh, is the Court of Appeals. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's building the Court of Appeals. Yes, yes it is. So we can continue to research stuff. But, now these guys in this army right here, they are not desperately in need of Hanover, because Hanover has already fell. So I will actually go on and just build a proper army. As simple as that. Yes, get loads of cavalry, and uh, hopefully the sun bugging goes away. Uh, but anyway, we will uh, build the uh, cavalry, and once we have them, yeah, that should be enough. Ah, thank you. It's gone. So, what happened? Well, they actually didn't attack. Which is slightly surprising. Don't want to attack them in the field. I don't know. Also, these guys are now going over here. Are they going to attack Kiev? I don't know. They might. So, just build up the army as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, we don't really have... We can't really recruit anyone here. That's a shame. 
But what we can do is to just move on with these guys. Uh, Vilnius will be unhappy, but uh, that will uh, that will actually fix itself pretty soon. I think so, at least. So we should be able to just have them surrender, and uh, what do you know? Peacefully occupy. For some reason, this get hurt, hurt even though this was surrendered peacefully. I don't know. But anyway. And the people are happy. It's a miracle. So, we need some garrison troops. Portuguese Legion. Why not? Unfortunately, that will take two turns. How long will the pure militia take? That will be recruited instantly. Yeah. I think I'll take that. Just in case... Uh, well, maybe not this army, but... This army. Uh, go on and attack. That might be a problem. Meanwhile, over here, we are replenishing. And actually, we've got to bring our uh, our general with us. That was a mistake. There we go. And we can... If we want to, we can take this army and move it towards St. Petersburg. And I think we might want to do that. Uh, but maybe the next turn, so we have some money to build garrison troops. Because that, that is sorely needed. Because, uh, well... Uh, these are not strong armies, but I don't know what exists in these uh, provinces I can't see. Because, as you have fairly recent, recently seen, large Russian armies, uh, large Russian armies can appear at any moment. So they're, they're, they're not out yet, but they have been dealt a, um, a quite hefty blow, that's safe to say. Mm-hmm. Several small stuff. Uh, also, by the way, I was just testing and the Russians actually want a peace treaty. If I offer them one, but I think that might not be in my best interest, so as for now, I'm not going in for that. So, that's the way it is. Sm Smolensk. Might be able to be captured by this army right here. And this army might be able to grab St. Petersburg and Novgorod in the same turn. Unlikely, but it might be possible. These cities are dangerously close to each other. And this army, well, I don't know what to do with you. You just have to stay there, because these guys are, as you can see, still unhappy. This is going down, so pretty soon we will uh, be back to a an acceptable level of uh, public order. So that's great. Other than that, and the turn, and see what the Russians do. And what the British do. Of course, uh, the only province I have that their army can actually reach right now is Berlin. Good luck with that. But several of my allies are, are neighbors to Hanover. So... We'll see what they'll do. They'll probably just garrison it. Yeah. They they are just garrisoning, garrisoning it. And trying to keep it. Well, good luck with that. I will try my very best to keep that from happening. So, Tuchel on the attack. They are powerful, as you've seen previously. Have them recruited. And along with this army right here. And after that, might go for some 8-pounders. Fortunately, we don't have this ready. And I could build it, but it would take 8 turns, so it's actually not worth the uh, worth the hassle, I think. Not right now, anyway. 2 turns until we can start, um, start to research new stuff. Soon done with plateways, which will give us access to the steam engine. Yes, speaking of uh, new technologies, how long are you from completing? Five turns, that's good. So, over in Russia, what what is happening? Well, not too much. All I can recruit is militia. Hmm, I don't really like that. Might have to recruit some stuff here. 
Also, what are you doing? Nothing, apparently. So, build our army right here. And move out when the time comes. There's another army. Well, not really an army, but just small army stacks. Hmm. I was going to um, recruit some garrison troops, wasn't I? So let's do that. Of course, now I'm leaving Riga fairly vulnerable. But uh, I'm fine with that, because the price is St. Petersburg. Which I, uh, to be honest, I find more valuable. So, move on. Actually, <laughs> since these guys are hindering me, that will take me all the way around there. So I'm glad I didn't click directly on it. There we go. Much better. Will that actually take place next turn? Well, not if I can help it. There we go. Solved. Problem solved. And next turn, we will be able to stand at the gates of St. Petersburg. A new nation. Uh, yeah, I forgot to, to tell you about that. Uh, Spain conquered Portugal, but as you can see, Portugal wrestled back its control. Or maybe the British helped. I don't really have a um, sight right there, so I don't know what happened. Actually, do they want to trade with me? Probably not, but uh, let's see anyway. If I have the capacity for that, or if they have the capacity for that. Let's see. Portugal. No, I can't trade. The post in my home region is, uh, or are, full. That's this one, right? Well, I can actually, up I can actually upgrade that. Yeah, it probably should. We probably should upgrade that um, next turn. Well, maybe not next turn, but uh, pretty soon anyway. Yeah, this is my main port. I can build another one, but I don't know if that will count as me getting a, another province like that. A, a, um, a trading port like that, I mean. Yeah, that seems to be the only one. No, we have another one here. But I don't know if th this will... Uh, will uh, transport everything back to the capital. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, the trade is going up here. Let's see. Yeah, just up there. Actually, we want to improve the infrastructure. Probably should, should build basic roads. Actually, something I've been lacking in is building the infrastructure, which is really showing in Russia. Which, of course, is not my fault. It's the Russians' fault, but... All of the basic roads are making transportation over this vast territory. It's making it um, quite a hassle because uh, of uh, the amount of time it actually takes for it uh, for the armies to properly move to where they are supposed to go. I think the only province, or one of the only provinces, that are actually decent in that regard is actually Berlin. Or Brandenburg, if we want to be proper about it. So, if we take a look at that. Here, you actually have cobble roads. But of course, not metal roads, which is the um, the highest um, tier. But still, it's better than just pure basic roads. Or non -road at all roads at all, like in, uh, in, um, in there. Sorry, French people. Yeah, but that province. So, uh, I saw I got another gentleman. Actually, I think I got another gentleman the turn before that as well, but I actually didn't pay attention to it. Let's see. Uh, those are spies, so never mind. Uh, Magberg, you are there, you are there, and you are there. You are there, and you are there. So, go there and help. Well, once work becomes available. So, back to this, Orleans, Magburg, Orleans, West Prussia, you you are unemployed, technically. So, go there. Okay, you're in West Prussia. I guess I want to, to have you on Magburg University. And research. Yeah, he walked all the way from over there to there. 
I don't know how long that would take an L, uh, if this was just basic roads. You probably got them to around there, I think. Probably. Anyway. Monsieur? On to St. Petersburg. Wow, this is really undefended. I can't demand surrender, so I'll just continue the siege. Uh, for now, that is. Actually, interesting that Moscow uh, Musketeers are actually standing here in St. Petersburg. Of course, it is this way, probably because this is the capital, and they are... Uh, you can see they are garrison, so they, they, they are probably an automatic garrison in the Russian capital, which now is, of course, St. Petersburg. But they still uh, retain their original name. So... Might actually want to upgrade the road so I can actually move quickly. But that will take six turns. Everything takes so long. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess the um, the turn, uh, the turn is uh, a turn is two weeks long. So you really have to do it that way, as opposed to the other um, Total War games, which usually take like a year, at least a half a year. So you really have to do this because. Six turns, yeah, probably probably would have taken that long. Uh, in fact, it probably would have taken a lot longer than that. Uh, but still, I, I think we're moving before six turns are done. So we'll just recruit troops and do it that way. We can actually build Cologne attack here. That's interesting. Also, we might want to utterly crush this. So we don't have to worry about it. Water of Soul. There we go. And back to Vilnius. But they don't pay tax, do they? Nope, they don't. And now they do. Actually, let's take a, take a look. I know that Moscow don't pay. And also uh, Estonia don't pay. But they are... Well, they are just on the limit, I think. Yeah. Let's recruit more men right there. And hopefully that will get the population under control, and I can actually make money from this. Speaking of money, we are actually losing money, but that is probably due to uh, all of uh, the um, all of the upkeep costs I have to pay to keep these armies alive. So that's fair, I guess. Okay, do I just want to move in and utterly crush them as soon as possible? Well, I guess I do, but do I want to leave Moscow open? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Also, I can actually tax uh, Moscow, which significantly improves the uh, the uh, tax rate, the tax income. Hmm. Let's see. Three Russian cities remaining, which I can capture uh, pretty swiftly if I want to, but. Let's take a look at this. That will take three turns, and I actually have to go... Well, okay, I can do it like that. That will still take uh, three turns. Do I want to do that? As I said, the problem is that these guys are not happy at all. Garrison Forces uh, provides 20 so-called happiness, but um, uh, these guys only have 10 to happiness and 6 to happiness. Happiness. So if I leave the city, riots will break out pretty quick, pretty quickly, and you don't want that. So let's try to get some garrison forces. Pretty much anyone will do. So I guess we'll go for militia. They are good for keeping peace, and um, yeah, there are actually none armies, as far as I can tell, really close to uh, to Moscow. So I think we are safe. When it comes to that. There we go. Those should all should all be recruited next turn actually. Yeah, this is this is weird. It actually means that it will be recruited next turn, but it won't actually count as like these are not actually taking up the recruitment slots, technically. These guys are. It's weird, but that's actually how it works. Other than that, um, yeah, this is not looking good. So, go ahead and intercept that. We are getting... some reinforcements. Not a lot. 
but I believe that should be enough to um, to defeat this army. I don't think we will kill it um, just outright, but they will take uh, severe casualties, and that's really what we want to do. We want them to take as many casualties to the point that they don't uh, function the way they are supposed to. They will probably still bug me, but they won't be able to actually conquer a province, which is what I'm afraid of, because I'm trying to annihilate the Russians. Yeah, just mass line? I guess, why not? Let's see, uh, I think I'll narrow it actually. So do it more like uh, that, and center it, there we go. Horses, be there, general, be around there, and go. And we are getting reinforcements. Not a lot of them, but we are getting reinforcements. Actually from behind the enemy, which uh, may or may not be a good idea. Depends on how aggressive the AI really is. Also, use our horsemen. Okay, uh, I think those are the... I think I only had two... Um, two um, regiments, which weren't garrison. So I think that's all the reinforcements I'm getting. Which is fine. I think I will, will be uh, able to, to make do with that. So... We can speed this up a little. Hmm. General is quite eager, apparently. And the infantry is uh, doing their job. Fine. Pretty fine, actually. Just continue on. And actually shrink this a little bit. Do more like that and horses go ahead and start to outflank because what we want is to take away as many men as possible from this regiment right here we don't want them to um, to have any real means of countering this of course they have their artillery which is not uh, so vulnerable that I can actually do that uh, that I can actually go for them, but let's try to go for the guys that are actually vulnerable. And also, let's start to surround them, slightly. Actually do something like that. And then, fire it will. Well, that didn't happen. Great. Yeah, it might be the uh, this one I'm supposed to turn off. Well, that helps. That definitely helps. And they pretty much run it immediately. Good job. And now I'm getting shot at by infantry. So, uh, get the hell out of there. And bring up the lines. Uh, yeah, just do that. I think we can basically rush them by this point. Also, how many men did he lose? Three, and he routed an entire enemy unit. That, that really says a lot, and uh, these guys are not returning. That's for certain. So, you two, we can actually start to outflank completely. And you are the problems, uh, the problems of the stacking regiments. 
So let's fix that. Yeah, and as you are well aware of, these guys are invincible when they haven't set their cannons down. But the liner tree definitely aren't invincible. There we go. Nice encircling maneuver. And we are getting charged by cavalry. Good luck with that. Actually, not you. You can start out flanking. Completely. And they, uh, they set down their artillery and you can see what happened to them. Not a pretty sight. Unless you are French. Yeah, that really tells you how dense the smoke was. When I was here, I couldn't actually see the troops right there, right in front of me. So when I saw small, like, blood spurts, like, right there, I was actually uh, quite surprised by it. So really, that tells you how the the, uh, the battles of this time period were. Highly, highly, uh, well, I guess you can call it foggy, or smoky, and... Uh, could be uh, slightly chaotic. <laughs> Just slightly. Yeah, they would be highly chaotic. And pretty much only the generals and the officers would have... Uh, would really know what was going on. Well, I guess that was usual. The, uh, the simple infantryman didn't get too much insight. Well, I guess they still really don't until, uh, until after the fact. But, uh, you know what I mean. In these times, infantry were... They weren't really the heroes. To say, to call it... Uh, well, to say it that way. Except for some of the French troops. Well, I guess this is the time, really, the troops became heroes. Victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Well, decorated, at least. The French were. And you can take a look at the All Guard. Which uh, had to... Um, had to have done several feats in order to become all guard. I think they had to be involved in at least three campaigns. Not battles, but campaigns. And they also had to be... well, they also be, had to be a certain height. And they had to do something else, I think. I can't remember exactly what. Oh well, uh, at least the... Um, at least the French were among the first to do that, as far as I'm aware, at least. And by now, I guess we can take all the guys and just bane a charge. Actually, you guys, go over there and break the square. With ammunition, not with sabers. These guys are broken, so I'll just chase them down. Broken, broken. Hmm, I don't like that. Let's try to properly shatter them. Broken, broken. And these guys are actually steady. Let's change that. Yeah, the Russian... The Russian line is completely dead. Unfortunately, I can't shatter them. That's too bad. Well, I guess these guys retreated, technically. Maybe not these guys, but the ones I was targeting with my horses, they actually managed to retreat. I think it's those guys, actually. Yeah, you can see they are, they are counted as steady. 
So the the uh, the army will survive. They will there will be units that that uh, come back and fight me once again. Uh, actually, let's make sure they don't. There we go. Now they won't bother us. That army is completely dead. So I'm very satisfied. Over in Kiev, are we are we recruiting? We are not. But we don't have too much money right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, that was it for this part. We are continuing to clear out the Russians, and we are capturing their remaining provinces, in which there are only three left remaining. So, I thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.